What's going on guys, Cameron Fitness here and today I'm bringing you a video talking through my training split whilst I'm on this bulk prepping for my very first competition. So before we get going, if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and definitely leave this video with a like. So it's a five day training split, training three times, rest day, training twice and then another rest day. So this training split works for me and you've got to imagine it's tailored around specifically men's physique competition where we're looking for broad shoulders, nice developed chest, small waist. That'll make sense when I come into explaining the days. So basically the program is push pull legs, rest, chest and back, shoulder and arms. But the training days are split up a little bit differently. So on a Monday I'll be doing my push session and the chest work is going to involve all flat movements, so flat bench, flat dumbbell bench press, chest press, along with a heavy compound lift for my shoulders such as seated military press, then some shoulder and also tricep isolation exercises. But on a Monday, my main lift being the flat bench press, I'm focusing on strength, so I'm only going up to five reps. That's mainly because I see my bench press as probably one of my weakest areas, so I want to try and improve it. That's why I'm focusing on it twice in the week. So on Tuesday, we've got back, bicep and abs, and in that, I'm going to include my deadlifts. Tuesday's back sessions are all about rowing movements. So I'll be including things like my seated row, pendly row. And also in terms of lat pull-down variation, I'll be going a close grip lat pull-down. With my deadlifts, I'm also keeping it more or less strength training, so aiming between sort of three and five reps, working at about 80-85% of my one rep max. So on Wednesday, I'll be training my legs and calves. I know this competition doesn't specifically focus on leg development, but I do want to grow the size of my legs, just to make sure I'm not looking out of proportion. So in my leg workouts, my main focus is the back squat, and again, I'm working up to sort of that five rep range. So it's a very strength predominant training program. On Thursdays we've got the first rest day, keeping calories nice and safe and just recovering for the Friday session. So now the second half of the training split. So now we're on a chest and back on a Friday. And again we're going to be focusing on the bench rest but we're going to increase the rep range on this one. So we're going to be looking for between 8 and 10 reps. So this is a little bit more of a technique session um, and a little bit more of improving sort of the velocity of the bench press, so the speed of each rep. Also when I finish the main bench press, I'm then going to be moving on to incline and decline movements to really sculpt my upper and lower chest. And in terms of training back on a Friday, I'm mainly focusing on lat development. So I'll really be focusing on my weight on my lat pull downs, um, different sort of variations, underhand grip, wide grip, and also some variations on the dual cables. And finally, the workout on a Saturday is mainly just a bit of a bro workout. So shoulders, bicep, and tricep. Because the men's physique look is very sculpted around big, broad shoulders, I really wanted to focus on improving some of my lifts. So in terms of your dumbbell shoulder press, in terms of, again, your seated military press, but also I'm focusing on tricep development. So this is where I've included a new exercise which I haven't really done before, which is weighted dips. And in terms of training bicep and tricep on this, I'm literally just aiming for sort of 10 to 15 reps, aiming for that burn, aiming for that metabolic stress, and getting a really good pump. So in terms of progressive overload for the program, it's January, the gyms are really busy. Um, I've always been a fan of trying to have a structured training program so not every single exercise I'm doing every single rep range but because the gym's so busy it's very very difficult to actually do that. So for the time being and I found it to work quite well so far I focused on two main big lifts for each day and then I can focus on the progressive overload with that because you might get to a point where a machine's taken um, you can't get on a piece of equipment so you've got to change it and then it kind of if you've got a structured workout it kind of puts you out of place and makes you feel shit about the workout because you can't do it so this way if you're just focusing on the two big lifts but it means essentially all you have to do is wait for two specific pieces of equipment. All the other exercises in the program I'm still pushing myself, but it's more for that metabolic stress, more for that burn feeling in comparison to actually specifically tracking the weights. I've been training long enough so I know what sort of weights I'm working on on each piece of equipment, on each exercise, but with the gym being so busy, it is difficult to get on structured pieces of equipment in a certain order. So on Monday's push session, exercises I'm focusing on are the bench press, the seated military press and the flat dumbbell press. On Tuesday on the pull session, I'm working on the deadlift and the seated cable row. On Wednesday, focusing on the back squat and the hack squat. On Friday, it's a bench press, incline dumbbell press and the lat pull down. And then finally on Saturday, it's the dumbbell shoulder press and weighted tricep dips. So this training program at the moment is just specifically whilst I'm on a bulk. When I start cutting, I'm going to switch it to a little bit more of a, um, a bro split. But you've got to remember, at the moment I'm trying to save as many calories as possible. And the more days I'm training through the week, I'm burning calories. So two rest days means that my calories throughout the week as a whole are staying quite high. 
And to be fair, it's quite a good training program to follow if you're just looking for that kind of like beach body. Because men's physique, that's kind of all it is, that broad shoulders, well-developed chest, abs. So that's my current bulking training split. And now I'm gonna show you the Friday's workout, which is chest and back. Here are some highlights. <laughs> guys enjoyed the video i hope you found the training split useful and maybe you can apply some of it into your own training especially when we've got busy january gyms um, i definitely recommend maybe focusing on just two main compound lifts stick to a structured routine because especially at this time of year it's just not really applicable so guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you do leave a like if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and i will see you next time peace